Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the John chapter 8, verse 48 to 58. John chapter 8, verse 48 to 58. The Jews answered him, Aren't you right in saying that you are a Samaritan and a demon possessed? I am not possessed by a demon, said Jesus. But I am honor my father and you, you dishonor me. I am not seeking for seeking glory for myself, but there is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. I tell you the truth. If anyone keeps my word, he will never see in death. At this, the Jews exclaim, Now you now you are the demon possessed. Abraham died, and so did the prophet. Yet you say that if anyone keeps your word, he will never test the death. Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died, and so did the prophet. Who do you think you are? Jesus replied, If I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My father whom who claim as your, fa your God is the one who glorifies me. Through you do not know him, I know him. If I say I did not, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. You are not yet 50 years old, as Jesus uh, said to him. And you have seen Abraham? I tell you the truth, Jesus answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. At this, they pick up stone to stone him. But Jesus hide himself, sleeping away from the temple ground. This morning, I would like to share with you, if you knowing God, yeah, you know the word of the law. You keep his word. Verse 48, do you know what people say to Jesus? Do you know that you are a Samaritan and demon possessed man? Don't you? They speak like that. Can you imagine? Jesus is no Samaritan. Jesus is not demon possessed, and then you know when when they speak like this, uh, Satan no Satan know how to how to discourage Jesus, how to upset Jesus. Satan is very clever. Jesus answer verse forty nine. I am not possessed by a demon. <laughs> Do you understand? If I were Jesus, I don't answer. I can kick, it. but uh, Jesus answered, I am not. Yeah. Do you know when Satan woke him, Satan knew very well how to upset you. Yeah, that is a spiritual area. They knew exactly how to how to hurt Jesus, how to discourage Jesus. You are demon possessed man. <coughs> you are a Samaritan. They are liar. And then in the verse forty nine, you know, Jesus answered, But I honor my father, you dishonor me. Yeah. You know, I'm not demon for this man. You know, I respect God and honor God, but you don't respect me. You don't honor me. Yeah. And then verse 50 and 51 saying, Jesus came to this world and not glorify himself, glorify God all the times. Yeah. And then this wonderful scripture he said, if anyone keeps my word, his word of Jesus, he will never see that. That is a very strange word. Yeah. Even now, 2,000 years ago, that word is like an un, un, misunderstandable word. It's, it's like the, it's like the uh, terrifying word. How people never see that? Do you understand? People will die. But Jesus said, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see that. He didn't explain to them what does it mean. Do you understand? Actually, Satan has got the power, power of death. Do you, do you know the wage of sin is what? Death. Wage of sin is death. Mm -hmm. Satan has got the power, which is the death, and to fear the people because of the death. Do you know nobody overcome the death? But only one. Jesus is the one to overcome the death. He died on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross, uh, that there was a big celebration for Satan. 
they scream, claim that, oh, we killed Jesus, they, they're exciting. But there's no end of story. Jesus overcome the death. There is a resurrection day. You see? Jesus overcome the death. Therefore, whoever believed in Jesus, whoever believed his word, we will never see that. What does it mean never see the death? Then a born again Christian, we have experience of only physical death. Yeah? But we don't have, we don't need the experience of second death. Second death means eternal punishment. This is the word of the Lord. I tell you the truth. If anyone keeps my word, he will never mm -hmm. see that. Which means you're going to have eternal life, everlasting life in heaven. You will be with me. Jesus died on the cross, but he overcome the death. Yeah? But another guy who died together with uh, Jesus, two people, one left, one right. One left, that guy, he get the uh, physical death, yeah, on the same day when Jesus died. And then he experienced second death, which means go to hell. But another guy on the right side, he asked Jesus, Jesus, if you go, when you go to paradise, can you remember me? And Jesus say, I remember you. You'll be with me in paradise today, today. Which means the right uh, side of uh, Jesus on the cross and that guy, he experienced only physical death, but he is in heaven. When I go to heaven, I'm looking for him. I'm going to tell him, you're the most uh, luckiest man. You're the most blessed man in the whole history of the world. Just before he died, he asked Jesus, Jesus, remember me. And he saved. And they say again, do you know what they say? Verse 52, at least the Jews exclaimed, now you, we know that you are a demon possessed. <laughs> Can you imagine? <clears throat> These people are the demon possessed people. Yeah, because of they, they controlled by the, the, the demons, the darkness, part of lies is Satan. But these people say to Jesus, you are a demon possessed. Can you imagine? These people are the one to demon possess the people, but they spoke to them, now nah, we know that you are a demon possessed. Because of Jesus speak like this. You know, you will never see that if you keep my word. And then, do you know what they say? Abraham died. All the prophet died. But you say that anyone keep your word, he will never test that, that? That is nonsense. He said, that is, uh, the, you are the demon possessed. That is why you speak like this. You are crazy, man. And they say, are you, get, are you greater than our father Abraham? He died. But whoever, anyone, if anyone keeps your word, never test the death, you are wrong. They speak like this. They challenge, they are against Jesus. Who do you think you are? They say, who do you think you are? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My father whom who you claim as your God is the one who glorifies me. You see, God is the one to glorify me. It's not for myself. I never ever glorify myself. But God is the one who sent me. He glorified me. And I talk to you, you guys now. Never glorify himself. Even John chapter 17, he prayed like this. You know how he prayed? Father, verse 1, the time has come, which is crucifixion. Glorify your son. That your son may glorify you. He prayed like this. Father God, glorify your son. And I will glorify you. These people never understand what Jesus said. And then they speak two times. You are demon possessed. You, are, you surely know that. You are the demon possessed. Unfortunately, people, they don't understand the, the, the word of Jesus. And then they condemn. They judge like this. Do you understand? Whenever you preach the gospel, yeah, with the spirit of God, the worldly people who are still spiritually blind, spiritually uh, dead, and they couldn't understand what the Almighty God say. There is a book of Revelation, chapter 2 and chapter 3 say, who has got the ear? Do you know people they have the ear? 
Who has got the ear? Let them hear what the Holy Spirit say. Unfortunately, people, they don't hear the Holy Spirit say. They can see the Bible. They can hear what God say, but they don't understand. Do you understand? You have to hear, listen what the Holy Spirit say. Do you understand? And then verse 50, 55 says, Lord, you do not know God, but I know God. You do not know him. I know him. If I say I did not, I would uh, be a liar like you. <laughs> because I know him. He is my father in heaven. That is why I know him. He said that I do know him. Therefore, yeah, I, but, but I do know him and I keep his, his word. Jesus himself, he said, I do know God. Therefore, I keep his word. If you know me, you keep my word. Simple, simple. Unfortunately, they don't accept it. They don't know. Yeah? They don't keep his word. They don't believe the God's word. They don't believe according to the scripture. Do you understand? It's, it's very, very you know, uh, dangerous, these people. They are Jews. They worship the God of Israel all the 4,000 years. Can you imagine? 4,000 years they believed in Judaism. But suddenly one man came to the Jerusalem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. He was grow up, grown up in Nazareth. And then he came and preaching like this. Nobody believed. Nobody believed. You know, over 100 years ago, the biggest church in, in the world is a tabernacle church. The pastor is uh, um, Charles Spurgeon, his Baptist minister. Over 20,000 members in, in, in central London, Elephant Castle. 20,000 members. Over 100 years. It's the biggest church in the world. And then sometimes, two times, I go there and then buy the very nice book, Puritan books. Puritan books is a good book. But unfortunately, <laughs> then I brought to our team from Korea, the mission team go to the church because I I I, I show the, the church building and the inside there we pray because of this historical building and then two uh, over hundred years ago people they pray and then they touch by the Holy Spirit, powerful church, when the jo uh, church podium preaching in that time, but now, you know, different now. You know, some of people, they pray in speaking tongue and the Holy Spirit touched them. But the elder of the, the church came and then asked me, we don't allow the speaking tongue in our church. Speaking tongue is already gone 2,000 years ago. Don't pray in that, 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 that tongues. Okay, and then I say, okay. <laughs> I ask them, don't pray in speaking tongue anymore. Please, quiet. We pray the silent prayer some, for a while and they finish. Can you imagine? Some people don't understand the um, understand the like uh, spiritual things. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They never understand. They, that is what they say to Jesus. You are a demon possessed man. You are a Samaritan. <laughs> Do you understand? And they never understand what Jesus say. I do know him, and I keep his word. If you know Jesus, you keep his word. Unfortunately, uh, liberal theological college in, in, in Europe, they damage the church. They don't believe the word of God, the word of God. They believe the, they believe the, you know, the, they believe the, their own theological books. They are the one to judge the, judge the Bible, the scripture. Do you understand? Even I know, I know the one guy, he's a German guy. He's studying together with me in the uh, LST. Do you know he get a PhD degree later? Do you know how he say? There's no angels. He write down his thesis, his a PhD, PhD did essay. He against the angel of God. There's no more angels of the law in these days. In the Bible, we recognize that. But now, we don't finish. The time is gone. No more angel of the law. Can you imagine that guy, he wrote the book, and then he don't believe that there's no more angels of the law. 
He used so many theological books, and he proved it. There's no more angels. But what the Bible said, there is angels of the law. Still, angels of the law is working. Jesus Christ, same. Yesterday, today, and forever. There's the main problem. They don't know God. But they are the ones to, 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 to try to study the word of God. But not, they don't open their eyes. They're spiritually blind. Therefore, we need to pray for, we need to pray for the people. Yeah, open the eyes, open the ear. They need the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Without the spirit of wisdom, understanding and revelation, they never know who is Almighty God. Jesus, said, your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. I came to this world now, yeah. Your father Abraham, yeah. Your father Abraham now rejoiced because of I came here. You know, Father Abraham, all the prophets, they prophesy about me, but you still not believe. And, you know, they know how to argue. They say, you are not yet 50 years old. The Jews say to him, and you have seen Abraham? <laughs> Do you understand? Actually, if I were in there, if I, if I were in this group of these Jewish people, I fully understand. Because the word of Jesus is a, too much, is a deeper, and too much a, a revelation. But actually, if the Spirit touch their mind, easily to believe, easily to, to believe. Do you understand? Jesus is around 34 years old, 33, when Jesus speaks there. And he say, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was, before Abraham was born, I am. Do you understand? Do you think 2,000 years old people, they hear the, what Jesus say, they could understand? It's very hard to understand. Before Abraham was born, I am. Do you understand? But only the, when the Spirit of the Lord opens your eyes and to knowing God, and then you can understand the word of the Lord. Therefore, before I meditate the word of God, I pray, Lord, give me your understanding, give me your knowledge, give me your wisdom revelation to know your word. Yeah. Two thousand years ago they see Jesus physically face to face, but they still not believe. Now we don't see Jesus physically, but we just see the Bible, the word of God, and then I can believe, I can receive it. And then what was happening is uh, 59 people, they already pick up the stone to stoning Jesus. But Jesus, he cannot die like that. Why? Because of all the Old Testament prophecy explain how Jesus died. Jesus knew what he did. Jesus hide himself, slipping away from the temple ground. He just ran away, hiding. Why? He cannot die. He must die on the wood. You know, anybody die and carry the wood is a curse. Jesus must die on the cross. And this is the uh, the word. Jesus knew the people's thought. Jesus knew what was going to happen. He knew people's mind. Jesus knew the scripture, how the prophecy prophesied about his death. And he died. But let us... Uh, understand the word of God. If you know God, yeah, if you know God, you keep his command and then you understand his word. Understand the word of God is very, very important. Therefore, it is not just a piece of paper and just a, just a book. And then, then inside the book is a ink and paper, paper. No, no, no. This is the word of life. This is the word of God. If you understand the word of God, your life will change powerfully. My people are perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. Understand the word of God. And then if you don't understand, you can say to Jesus, like these people, you are demon possessed. Do you understand? And then when I was preaching on the street, the people speak like this. You know? Curse me. Shouting at me. And then you, the leaders, blah, blah, blah. They, they speak anything. 
but we know the word of the law. Why? Because we know God. Let us understand who he, who God is. Knowing God is most important. Knowing God, you know, when you pray, you're knowing God. You know His heart. You know His attitude. You know His spirit. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to knowing Jesus. When you knowing Jesus, we will keep His word. Dear Heavenly Father, um, give us Your grace and Your mercy, and open our eyes, and open our ear to understand You, to understand Your word, and then increase our faith, and we become a genuine Christian, mature, born again Christian for Your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.